Former GOP Congresswoman Liz Cheney is sending a strong message to the Supreme Court as they are weighing Trump's presidential immunity claims. Let's take a listen to her. It cannot be the case that a president of the United States can attempt to overturn an election and seize power and that our justice system is incapable of holding a trial, of holding him to account before the next election. That cannot be the case. Given this, Alexei, first of all, when, when you hear her, her put things that way, do you agree and are you equally puzzled by the fact that the former president seems to be escaping responsibility on so many fronts? I think uh, former Congresswoman Liz Cheney is expressing frustration that a lot of Americans feel when they want to see someone who has done a number of of potentially illegal things get away with it. Democrats in particular have, of course, wanted Trump to face accountability since he came down that escalator in 2015, announcing his presidential run. I think what's interesting, of course, is seeing how Trump's legal teams have pushed and delayed every trial in every way they can. But in less than three weeks, Trump will be facing a jury in a criminal trial, which is, of course, something he's tried to escape at all costs and avoid at all costs. And that, I think that will be a turning moment for folks to really see in these cases, because that's when Trump will have to answer for himself for the first time instead of continuing to get these delays. Do, do you agree with that, Howard, uh, especially the part where Lexi says, you know, most Americans don't l like seeing someone, anyone, get away with the things he's been, he's been getting away with? Yeah, I think that's right. And I think Trump is cooking his own goose. I mean, th these B I Biden ads, which I had not seen before, are, are absolutely brilliant. Put Trump in his own words. He's a disgrace. He's an embarrassment. And he's an embarrassment to a majority of Americans. So uh, that's what you've got to focus on. And you've got to focus on uh, even the court, which has been stacked by the far right and is clearly a, a political operation at this point. But even people like Roberts and Kavanaugh, who are pretty right wing, uh, and are involved, have been involved previously in politics, even they realize that the court has got to be in some kind of step with the American people, and it is not. Um, and I think there is some chance that the court may decide to do what's good for the country, not what's good for the Republican Party, which hasn't been done for about 20 years. Hmm. Um, so Liz Cheney, yes, speaks out, but uh, very vocal, in fact, never Trumper, but she's not gone as far as stumping for President Biden. And that's what brings me to your latest op-ed, Alexei. And this is because you pose this question to your colleagues at The Washington Post. Should anti-Trump Republicans endorse Biden? So I'm curious what the answer is. What did you gather from your conversations and how much of a difference could that make? I mean, it would make a huge difference. Obviously, not endorsing Trump as a Republican hurts Trump a little bit, but that wouldn't hurt Trump as much as a Republican going so far as to say, not only am I not voting for Donald Trump this fall, but I am actively voting for the Democratic candidate, Joe Biden. That would certainly signal to their supporters, their constituents, not only permission to vote for the other side, but really giving people, I think, direction at a time when people are refusing to endorse President Trump because they think he's a threat to democracy and the country. I mean, if you genuinely are not endorsing him because you think he's a threat to the country or he puts himself ahead of the Constitution, then I don't see any way in which these folks can vote for him in the fall, write in someone else, or do anything that would potentially help Donald Trump win, because it's not enough not to say or to say you're not going to endorse him. You have to organize your folks to get some sort of electoral outcome. Otherwise, the party and the country will be in the same situation they're in now that these Republicans are complaining about. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.